so guys this is the photo which we're gonna edit the photo like kind of vintage effect or the photo manipulation like vintage retro look so first of all we're gonna just select the model image by using the quick selection tool and just press ctrl j from the keyboard to make it duplication now we're gonna just crop the image for our instagram profile ratio that is 8 is to 10 ratio now just enla enlarge the image of the photo or the way or the ratio where you want just enlarge we're gonna just play with the background and all stuff so let's just open the background image you can just download this photo from the links in the description just drag and drop over here go to the edit and select the free transform or directly press ctrl t from the keyboard to make it enlarge and make sure to you know place this background in a perfect way that model image fits actually in a perfect position so you have to adjust that kind of perspective of this background so you have to you know it is totally up to you and just make sure that it should look more realistic and original that is the key point of the photo editing so you have to just maintain the originalism by placing it and just transforming the background now we're gonna just press ctrl l from the keyboard to dehaze the background it was actually very much you know whitey so we're gonna just remove the haze from the image just by pulling the levels from left to right to make it look more darker so you can see the preview here is the before and here is after a huge difference can be seen now all you're gonna do is let's just uh, do the same process on this model image also we're gonna just remove some kind of hairs from the image just a little bit would be pretty much perfect now just make a duplication of this model image change the blending mode to soft light in order to maintain or the enhance the you know the photo and just make it look more darker and just remove the perfect haze from the model image add a layer mask on the image where you don't want uh, you can just remove it by using the brush tool and make sure you have selected the black color in the foreground and just remove more and more you know more darker from the photo by using the brush tool so that it will remove the more darker or the very much haze from the photo and we're gonna just see the difference if you don't want too much of you know soft light or enhance you can just remove it and you can see the difference here's the before and here is the after now this one is actually you know merging it with the background which is making it look more realistic and amazing guys now we're gonna just still we're gonna just play with the background and adjust the transformation or the perspective of the background so that it actually matches with the model image now this one is looking quite cool now we're gonna just add a foreground car png to the photo so just drag and drop you can just download this car png from the links in the description now press ctrl t to enlarge the image now just we're gonna place this png or the car to you know right side of the photo so just make sure it is big enough to place it somewhere over here so that it should look you know kind of you have captured from uh, far distance and just make the filter to gaussian blur we're gonna just add the gaussian blur to around 45 don't add too much of blur otherwise it your photo or the car will not look we, we want to look the car image also so we're gonna just make it to 45 now just select the background color and just duplicate it and press flip it horizontal because we want more canvas image in the photo for our instagram ratio so we're gonna just increasing it and just flipping it so that the background image would in would be increased you know because we want to crop the photo for that is 8 is to 10 ratio for our instagram so we're gonna just increase the background size now select the brush tool and select the black color create new layer before creating just right click on and select blending option on the model image layer select the drop shadow and select the black color from here and change the blending mode to soft light and just make sure the angle is above 131 and just make the size to a little bit and spread it to very much now create new layer and just hit ok so it will actually create a separate layer of this drop shadow 
and just place this uh, this is a very important thing you have to keep in mind in whole process of editing that shadow maintaining the perfect shadow or creating the perfect shadow or in this photo that is the important thing sunrise is coming from the left side so you have to keep the shadow on the right side and that that also you have to keep in mind that the sun is on the top from the top it is coming the razor so we're gonna just place it the shadow on the downside a little bit so that it will look more realistic and original now select the eraser tool and just remove the unwanted shadow where you don't want by simply just erasing it i'm gonna just delete it from the left side of the model image i just need it on the right side and also just from it from the top portion just make the shadow only near the you know below the trouser of this model image because the other portion is very much far away on the car so there is not at all shadow required so we're gonna just erase it by using the eraser tool select just see you can still more delete it from the area where it is not needed the shadows by simply using the eraser tool and you can see the difference is the before and here is after now we're gonna just create new layer and select the brush tool and select the black tone and just create change the blending mode to kind of you know uh, soft light and just paint it with the black color to create more shadows you know you can see the difference it is really making it look more and more darker now directly press ctrl j to make it look more darker from the region or the shadows you know just place it somewhere over here you can still adjust it it is totally up to you now again just press ctrl j from the keyboard to make a duplication of that shadow image which you have painted with the brush and just place it somewhere over here to make it look more realistic we're gonna just play with the shadow and just make sure where it shoots the most and looks more realistic that is the main key point of our creating the shadow and the important thing of this you know photo editing is that you have to in this photo especially in this photo manipulation you have to create the shadow in a perfect way otherwise your photo will look like you know you have edited one because we don't want people to understand that this photo is really captured or edited so we are just creating a shadow in a perfect position in a perfect way so make sure your photo that the shadow is perfect now let's create new layer and add some more paint the black color on between the legs of the model change the blending mode to soft light in order to create some more black effect below the you know near the car so you can see the difference it is really making it look more amazing now select the crop tool and just decrease it by pressing the shift and alt key from the keyboard and just reduce the canvas size of the photo which you want for your final upload for your instagram so we're gonna just crop this image as our final photo now just hit ok so this is our final ratio for our instagram profile now just create a new layer or we're gonna if you want to add some more blackness you can add otherwise let's just add it by using the selective tools from the adjustment layer so select the black color from here and just make it to minus plus 5 would be pretty much perfect or plus 2 and just click on the below icon so that it only affect on the beneath layer now just paint it with the black color by using the you know now select the brush tool and just paint it with the white color and only do the process of you know near the black region where you want this more black effect you can see the difference this is the before and here is the after now this one is looking kind of very original and realistic guys now the next thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna just clone it uh, we, the background or the 
background which we have pasted it is not looking original so we're gonna just select it and just make it sure that it should not look like clone image so we're gonna select it and just fill it with the content over so that this would be removed and this will look actually original also let's select this portion and select the fill and content over also do the same process by selecting this area in order to get out from the you know that uh, what do you say unoriginalism of the photo no one should be able to identify whether you have just flip it in a you know inverted that uh, background image or not you have to make sure that it should look always original select the brush tool and just paint it with the white color so that no one would be able to identify you have just you know inverted the images or the background let's just remove it by just using the content over tool now we're gonna just add some more and just press ctrl t go to the filter select directly the gaussian blur and just paste it, paste it somewhere over here change the color of this card to kind of in you know, a greenish tone would be pretty much perfect just reduce the saturation a little bit and just hit ok now press ctrl t and just flip it horizontal and just make sure to place it somewhere over because we wanna hide that you know glass of the photo so that no one would be able to identify that you have just inverted the car or the glass image of the background so we're gonna just place it somewhere over here so that no one would be knowing that we have just manipulated this kind of you know effects or the you know Gaussian bokeh you know image of the car just place it somewhere over here and this one is looking quite cool select the eraser and just delete it a little bit from here now this one is looking kind of original now let's just merge all the layer and just go to the filter select the camera filter and just play with the curves or just reduce all the saturation except the red orange and yellow color because we want to create that perfect color so we're gonna just make sure that everything is perfect go to the calibration tab and select the hue primary color to minus 10 and red to 0 would be pretty much perfect i guess luminescence of the orange would be pretty much plus 13 and just make sure to select the green tone you can also use the preset also guys you can download all the preset from the links in the description or directly from our website otherwise you can just do it manually this adjustment in the camera just add a little bit of contrast and reduce the highlights if you want to reduce a little bit would be pretty much perfect and increase the shadow a little, little bit and just decrease the blackness now this one is looking quite cool you can add a little bit of matte effect in the photo by just increasing the curves from the middle or the you know down portion and just add a little bit of you know highlights of the yellow color just add a little bit of shadows and you are done so guys i hope you all have enjoyed this tutorial and if you really enjoyed then just press the like button so that it will motivate me to make more videos like this for you guys for free and also guys don't forget to visit our website that is ashwircreations.com also guys follow us on instagram so guys thank you for watching and bye bye till the next video till then guys be creative and be awesome